fashion is the least interesting thing I've ever done in my life. Well, let's look at this one then. This isn't fashion. No, that's certainly this, not fashion. This is a portrait of two of London's most infamous gangsters from the 60s, the Cray twins, Reg and Ronnie. You spent quite a lot of time with them. Well, more with Reg than Ronnie, yeah. Reg is the, the one at, behind Ron at the front. In um, fact, the Sunday Times asked me to spend, live two weeks with them even, so... What was, I mean, these were two of the most violent criminals that London has seen in the last hundred years. What was it like spending time with them? And actually, I think you said Reg was sort of a friend. Yeah, I kind of like Reg. I mean, it, it's sort of difficult. It's, again, time and place. I mean, it, you, <laughs> you didn't come from the East End, obviously. No, I, I didn't. And you didn't have too many choices in life. Ah. And, like, people don't have too many choices. Like the Indian police, for an example, they earn in, like... 10 bob a week, so you say it's, it's 500 pounds to look the other way, they're going to look the other way. I mean, it's the human condition, it's got nothing to do with, it's where you're from and the time and place you exist. But I suppose what I'm interested in is you got these brothers who were, as I say, infamous for their violence, to pose for you and to spend a lot of time with you, because that's the way you took photographs. You didn't just come and snap people, you got to know no. them first. Yeah. And I just wonder how that process worked for you, given who they were and what you knew about them. Well, I come from quite a tough background anyway, so I wasn't unaware of gangs and, I mean, I was beat up myself quite a few times by different gangs. Well, didn't you discover that Ron had actually <laughs> yeah, but attacked I did, your own father? Yeah, but I only discovered that a couple of years ago, about two years ago, three years ago down in the East End. Some, one of my old aunts had reappeared and she's, I don't know, 87 and she knew all about it. I didn't know anything about it. But, you know, I don't know. I mean, that's right. Again, another interesting thing you said a while ago was that, you know, you, you actually sort of fall in love with your subjects for the for the time you're with them and photographing them it's a sort of an intense relationship they are the 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 the, the sun in your world for as long as you have them in the studio or wherever you're photographing them i'm just wondering whether you can actually do your job and and come away with a photograph you are happy with with somebody you dislike that you don't connect with yeah of course i mean you think guy you painted everybody you liked <laughs> of liking somebody or something. It's something to do with humanity. It's something to do with what we are. I mean, you can't ignore one thing and be blind to it because think it'll go away, because it won't go away. If anything, I did everyone a favour by making them famous, because if you're a real gangster, nobody knows who you are. So their big mistake was actually posing for me, probably.